a Trojan horse. Oh! oh. <laughs> Done deal. You did it. You did That's that, Trojan. Brilliant. I liked it. So, Jonathan, you're going to smuggle some cocaine into Mexico with me or not? No. Oh, I'm scared about my dog. I'm distracted. Is she... It's is she smuggling no. into Mexico, I'm confused about. <laughs> yeah, why would you want to smuggle cocaine? I think it's worth less there. Uh, but it's also the least thing the Border Patrol would suspect. True. They, think they... of that. I'm thinking of the end game here, right? We get... <laughs> we buy cocaine in the US. Right. Difficult to do. Risky. Could get caught. Could, Could get, arrested. get caught. Right? But think of the rewards. Right? We buy cocaine in the US. Yeah. Right? We put a horse head mask on you, Jonathan. <laughs> we put condoms filled with cocaine up your ass. We don't Jonathan. even have a real horse. I just don't have... worry. <laughs> don't worry about that. You are the you're the gift horse, Jonathan. Stop looking you in the mouth. We fill condoms full More of cocaine. Worried about... Right? Mm-hmm. We fill your ass with this. Why my ass? There's so many other places you could start. My mouth, you could put them, I could swallow them. Why yeah, are you the ass? You are my gift horse. I'm not looking you. Not looking you in the mouth, by the way, is the default answer to any question you have. So I just drop it, really. Um, I will, so we, your ass now is, to be honest, stuffed to the gills. Oh. with um, condoms full of cocaine. Don't sit down too roughly because you don't want them bursting up there. We smuggle you across the border into Mexico. How do you what? Just at a... Uh, right? Uh, Once we're there, you unleash the payload into my waiting, trembling hands. And then I will sell the cocaine on. The, the cocaine I bought in New York in um, the bad part of town. I will then sell uh, to just street peddlers and, and vendors and just general random strangers on the streets of Mexico. And so <clears throat> I'm just in a horse mask and you would just put me in a car and drive me? Yes, and you with will be... With a stomach and internal organs bloated with... <laughs> cocaine filled condoms why do i wear a horse mask and why can't you just have the cocaine next to me instead of in my body because that's how we get through the border the the border patrol cops stop us they say you know uh sir are you doing a thing and i say no i'm not doing a thing i'm just going to mexico please to get some tomatoes and they say what about your horse and i'll say that's a gift horse don't look it up the arse. And they'll say, well, fair enough. It's just a man driving his horse to Mexico for some tomatoes. But I'm going to be pretty uncomfortable with a horse mask on and a and uh, kind of just a lower abdomen filled with plastic and cocaine. Can I be honest? Yeah? You're going to be extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Were you at least going to have air conditioning? Am I going to be cool <laughs> and relaxed or... Um, you can have a hand fan. Okay. So I'm wearing a latex rubber horse mask (laughs) filled with latex rubber condoms and cocaine. Fanning, I guess, I don't know, I'd be fanning my stomach area because that's probably going to be the most hot and uncomfortable. Yeah. Just so you can sell cocaine for much lower than market prices to strangers you see on the street. (laughs) Yeah, but you're not thinking about the profit. Yeah, how much profit do you think you'll make in this losing? Yeah, I mean, cocaine's not that cheap here in New York City. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to take, and don't tell the wife about this. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to take all of the money I've got out of savings um, uh-huh. to put into the cocaine venture because I want to be honest, a lot of cocaine. Uh, I want a buggering flick load of cocaine. Do so, you have to put the cocaine in my because? It's not good to have cocaine uh, absorbed into your lower intestine yeah, by it's accident. Terrible. Yeah, pops and the condoms. It's pretty risky, yeah. Jim, for yeah. you to put all this cocaine in me. Well, I mean, I don't. We can't have you swallow the cocaine because then the stomach acid runs a risk of of burning through the condom, probably. Sure. So yeah, you I keep mean, it up. There's of... there's no hydrochloric acid in your rectum. No, not a ton. I hope there's not any, actually. So, That's next week. 
Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is next week. I don't think there's and, any... Unless, unless you're the, the radioactive bad guy from Captain Planet and the Planeteers, I don't see how it's less dangerous um, to have it up your ass. Um, actually, no, no, to have it in your stomach. I think it's less dangerous to have it up your ass. And it's more classic. There's a, there's a reason why drug smugglers put things up their bums. Mm. Well, and there, it, there's another uh, perfectly good reason for it. There's a lot longer turnaround time you have to wait if you ingest it through the mouth. She has to make its way through all of that intestine. If you just go straight to the ass, you can start plucking those bad boys out as soon as you reach safety. Yeah, yeah, those and I, bad boys. Yeah, I want. That's I want what they the, call. <laughs> I, I want the salvo um, as soon as we cross the border. I mean, I want to still see the fence. Um, while you're pooping condoms into my hand. That'd be so gross. It's yucky brown condoms with drugs, legal drugs, and I'd be so sad and sweaty and... Well, at least I'm not going to die this week. Got that you're not going to die. You, Jonathan, you will be, right? You'll... God, your wildest dreams are coming true. You'll be a horse pooping condoms in Mexico. <laughs> As your ideas go, it is not the most lethal. Yeah, so, like I said, you. think thank about you. the profit. <laughs> we're not going to make, we're going to lose so much money. Right. That's, we would lose yeah. upward to, you know, $100,000 on that. On um, the plus side, the standard of living in Mexico is much, much lower. It's much, much lower. Um, the money we make back, we'd be able to live like moderately impoverished middle class people. <laughs> Um, on the streets of Mexico, um, but here's the thing. I mean, I mean, in terms of money, we will make a loss. Right. I I will I will cop that. I'll take that on the chin, Jonathan. I'm not above uh, reproach. I'm not beyond criticism. And if you're just in it for cash, this isn't the venture for you. But you're not thinking of the other kind of profit. Yeah, what's the other kind of profit? Me holding <laughs> condoms as they fall out of your ass. <laughs> There's some and, spiritual currency there, I think. Well, I think you'll find wow. that that is priceless. Um, no. Nope. You that is real trouble. It's not the worst trouble. No. See, I've been so filled with trouble ideas over the over <laughs> a year now. Be filled with latex coat condoms. <laughs> <laughs> that this idea isn't as repulsive to me. It's it's worked. If that's been your your plan, kind of an aversion therapy, to make it so bad, all the other ideas. So when you finally do get me around, you can just be like, hey, can I just put a condom in your ass and then poop it out? I'll be like, well, so you're not gonna kill me or tie me up or put spiders on my face or invite people into my house to to beat me and to have prostitution happen? You just want a condom? Sure, I'll do it. Jonathan, I mean, compared to what I'm expecting, this is uh, it's kind of tame. Jonathan, Jonathan, yes, you can't put a price on a man horse pooping condoms. <laughs> I think that's the message of this podcast, because um, we've been talking about get rich quick schemes, making money, monetizing podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about this. We you you came up with that idea, Jonathan, of making children work in sweatshops for us. Oh, I forgot about that one. Um, oh. You obviously wanted to shit in popcorn in a movie theater for I us. Did not no. <laughs> but this week's episode, especially in light of of companies like EA and Zynga, um, in fierce legal battles, you know, a lot of money being thrown around, a lot of materialism. They mm. say they say greed is good, but it's not. I think we got to talk about spirituality. Um, Currency of the soul. Uh -huh. Good feelings and good times with friends. Things that you can't buy, <laughs> Jonathan, in a shop. Things that you, Jonathan, your golden coins can't exchange in order to obtain, Jonathan. We're not Fat Cat from Rescue Rangers, Jonathan. We're not Limburger from Biker Mice from Mars, even though Conrad looks like a thin fat cat and I look exactly like Lawrence Limburger. We're not these people, Jonathan. We're not? We're Who am spiritual. I? You are um, 
Uh, go one percent. Um, Let's just be honest. He's yeah, everything that's evil about percent. greed and money yeah. and this. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. I mean, to be honest, you are Michael Douglas <laughs> from the game. <laughs> yeah. Gordon Gecko. <laughs> you're you're the men that were bad in a film. <laughs> and now I need to be made good man by pooping on friend. <laughs> Is that right. That's the best sentence. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure I like am. pooping on friends. That's fantastic. Um, that's on our list of because that's what this episode's about. It's about you giving you, Jonathan, spiritual uh-huh. well-being. Because you're not a happy man of light. You've you've got. Oh, I've been you've, pretty stressed out. You've lately, got a new sure. job recently. You've been promoted. Um, oh, I demoted. Did I tell you I fired myself? Oh. I did. Now I'm back to the other job. Fantastic. But still pretty stressful because the whole place might close. Oh, Oh, well, here's grief. I mean, yeah, you've already learned that the high status, the money, the power, the wealth didn't make you happy. You tried to fill that emotional void by getting a dog. More material possessions. It's not making you happy, Jonathan. It's pooping over your bed. I didn't want the dog, really. I like her, but, uh, yeah, we were saving her from being put in a shelter where they kill dogs. You wanted to be Michael Douglas. You wanted to live like he did when he played Gex. <laughs> the Gecko? The ro- the <laughs> video game Gecko character? That's, Gex, that's the, good. Under, the that's undercover... That's a good connection, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gex um, Gordon. I've, every now and then I've got to make a video mm. game reference. <laughs> I'm under contract. Sure. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So... We're just trying to make you happy, and I think step one, you've already done. You you gave yourself a job that makes you happy inside, you know, where you get to lick the faces of patients like that, like that guy in Terminator 2. Who licks uh, Sarah Connor that time? Linda Hamilton's face, yeah. Um, well, he was just a, yeah. like a lump of a dude, thoroughly disgusting, always has been. I like yeah, that. he's a gross guy. And you take yeah. money for rednecks to have sex with the comatose ones so I can kill Bill. Oh, I don't do any of that stuff. Man, the stuff I had to do today. I can't even tell you. And people kept trying to hug me. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, sorry. Well, the, I mean, this is it. A hug is free, and it makes you happy. You should have taken it, those hugs. It true, does not make me happy, no. True, no. knowing your job, some of them might have had syringes hidden in their hair. But no, that's not like that. <laughs> just a man, just a head injured man with like no knees hobbling towards you and being like, Get me a fucking apartment! Get me a fucking apartment! For like 15 <laughs> minutes. And I'm just like, Listen, if I try to, if I call a landlord and tell them, Hey, I got this guy in the locked psychiatric hospital. He's locked up in here because they thought he shouldn't be in society. Want to give them a room? They all think that's a terrible idea. If you call yourself, though, and don't scream at him, maybe you can get an apartment. And he just goes in for this wild hug after that. That happened today. Well, you taught a man a valuable lesson. I better, hope so. Better to live free in a psycho ward than live not free in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. True. I don't know. The, the hospital is pretty nice. The food's good, and we treat people well. So have you considered no, che- not, have you hmm? considered checking yourself in? Oh yeah, yeah. I would. The, the, nothing would make me happier than to be allowed to go to the psychiatric hospital <laughs> yeah, for like two weeks. Just, just drop pictures and just read just book. Relax. Crack on that you're mental. Just just walk up to the reception desk and say, "Well, I'm mental now." So I give you some of that morphine. Uh, some apple sauce and a comic book. <laughs> no, it's not that that simple. I wouldn't want any morphine either. It's addictive. Um, that's, but no, if that's I what could makes just, it so good. Well, that's why other people like it because they're addicted to it. But yeah, just to be able to relax and ah, uh, not have to worry about. There, there's no responsibilities in the psychiatric hospital other than I don't know. If you want to leave, then you have to try to leave, and if you want to stay, and a lot of people do, then you just have to try to.